Hello everyone, welcome to Success Education. Today we'll be doing the workbook solution for science for standard 9, chapter number 6 that is tissues. Before that, if you have not subscribed my channel till now, please do subscribe it for more videos. So we'll be starting with section A. For that first one is answer the following questions as directed. That are the one markers question. First one, where is the location of intercalary meristem? It's option number C at the base of the leaves. Second, which chemical is deposited on the wall of the cork cells? It is suberin. Third, except which element, all remaining elements of phloem are living. It is phloem fibers. Fourth, which animal tissue acts as an insulator? It is adipose tissue. Fifth, find the characteristic of the muscles of the heart. It's option number A, cylindrical branch and uninucleate. Sixth, a uh, mucilaginous canal can be observed in cortex region in the section of stem. Seventh, which tissue has a characteristic of Haverstrain canal? It is bone tissue. Eight, parenchyma tissue is chlorophyll containing parenchyma. Uh, ninth, which tissue present in the hard covering of seeds and nuts? It is sclerenchyma. Tenth, Identify me. I am enclosed by two kidney-shaped guard cells located on the surface of leaf and helpful in transpiration. It is stomata. 11th. Which animal tissue helps to push the mucus forward to clear the respiratory tract? It is ciliated epithelial. 12th. Neutrophil type of white blood corpuscle also known as polymorphonuclear leukocyte. 13th. Thickening of suberine chemical on the wall of sclerenchyma cells makes them impermeable to air and water. State whether this statement is true or false. So it is false. Fourteenth, the answer is meristematic tissue. Fifteenth one is smash the following. So you can see the answers and complete it in your workbook. Sixteenth answer is section of phloem. And seventeenth one is first one collagen fiber and smooth muscle. 18th answer is neuron, 19th one is false, 20th one is xylem of parenchyma and 21st is again match the following so you can see the answers and complete in your workbook, 22nd one is epithelial tissue, 23rd is cuticle, 24th is phloem and areolar tissue, 25th is true. And 26th answer is both X and Y are correct. Y is correct explanation of X. Now we will continue with section B. Answer the following questions in short within the limit of 40 to 50 words as directed. First one, write any four characteristics of meristematic tissue. Characteristics of meristematic tissue are First, the cells of these tissues are commonly called meristems. The meristematic tissue has the quality of self-renewal. It has dense cytoplasm. It has thin cellulose walls. Nuclei are prominent in this tissue. Vacuoles are absent in this tissue. Second one, mention the characteristics of parenchyma. Characteristics of parenchyma are, they are unspecialized cells with thin cell walls. Parenchyma are live cells. They are loosely packed with large intercellular spaces between them. Chlorenchyma is parenchyma with chlorophyll. It forms basic packing tissue. Third one, explain the types of meristematic tissue. Meristematic tissues are divided into three categories. First one, apical meristem, present at the tips of roots and stems, increases the length of roots and stems. Second is lateral meristem, present on the lateral sides, increases girth of the stem and root it is also known as cambium and third one is intercalary meristem present at the base of the leaves or internodes on twigs fourth question write two points of difference between colenchyma and sclerenchyma uh, cells of chlor uh, colenchyma are alive while cells of sclerenchyma are dead Cells show thickening of pectin in colenchyma and cells show thickening of lignin in sclerenchyma. Intercellular space is less in colenchyma and no intercellular space is there in sclerenchyma. The second difference is between parenchyma and sclerenchyma. 
parenchyma tissue is formed of living cells sclerenchyma tissue is formed of dead cells between the cells there are usually distinct intercellular spaces in parenchyma and between the cells there are no intercellular spaces in sclerenchyma the third difference is between xylem and phloem xylem consists of tracheids vessels xylem fibers and xylem parenchyma whereas phloem consists of sieve tubes companion cells phloem fibers and phloem parenchyma three of these components are dead and only one is living in xylem and three of these components are living and one is dead in phloem fifth question write location properties and function of collenchyma collenchyma is located in leaf stalks below the epidermis it is a living elongated and irregularly thickened at the corners it has very little intercellular spaces functions of this are providing flexibility helping in easy bending provides mechanical support to the plant and cells show thickening of pectin sixth question explain structure and functions of stomata stomata are the pores present on the epidermis of the leaves they are enclosed on either side by guard cells these cells regulate the opening and closing of the stomata stomata carry out transpiration it also help in gaseous exchange the carbon dioxide required for photosynthesis is taken from the atmosphere and the oxygen prepared during photosynthesis is given out through the stomata seventh one write general characteristics of epithelial tissue characteristics of the epithelial tissue are first one epithelial tissue form covering of the body they are tightly packed forming a continuous sheet for the protection of organs there is small amount of cementing material without any intercellular spaces extracellular fibrous basement membrane separates epithelium from the underlying tissues various epithelial cells play an important role in regulating the exchange of materials between the body and the external environments eighth question write short note on columnar epithelium columnar epithelial cells are tall and pillar like in shape they are concerned with absorption and secretion in plants columnar epithelial cells are located on the inner lining of the intestine columnar epithelium facilitates the movement across the epithelial barriers example inner lining of the intestine where the water absorption and secretion takes place now we'll continue with question number 9 that is write two points of difference the first difference is between ligament and tendon ligament is a connective tissue which joins two adjacent bones with each other forming joints tendon is a connective tissue which joins muscles to the bones ligaments have very less matrix and matrix of tendon is more fibrous the second difference is between bone and cartilage bone is made up of cells called osteocytes cartilage is made up of cells called chondrocytes the matrix of bone contains salts of calcium and phosphorus the matrix of cartilage contain proteins and sugar bones are hard and non flexible cartilages are not hard but are flexible tenth question is explain blood and its constituents blood by definition is a fluid that moves through the vessels of a circulatory system in humans it includes plasma blood cells and cell fragments called platelets plasma is the main component of blood and consists mostly of water with proteins ions nutrients and waste mixed in red blood cells are responsible for carrying oxygen and carbon dioxide platelets are responsible for blood clotting while white blood cells are part of immune system and function in immune response now we'll continue with section c answer the following question point wise uh, that is the three markers uh, three markers questions first one explain simple permanent tissue having dead cells the simple permanent tissue is made up of similar types of cells and hence they look like each other sclerenchyma is a tissue having dead cells the scler uh, sclerenchymatous cells are polygonal in shape they have no intercellular spaces sclerenchymatous cells are thickened due to lignin deposition around their walls these cells makes plant parts hard and stiff they provide strength to the plants it is also seen in vascular bundles in which conduction is 
possible. Second one is state the name of xylem elements and write functions of each. Xylem is composed of cell called elements of four different types. First is tracheids. It provides mechanical support to the plant. Second trachea. It helps in transporting water and dissolved minerals to the plants. Third, xylem parenchyma. It stores food and transports water and minerals to the plants. Fourth, xylem fiber. It provides mechanical support to the plant. Third question, describe phloem. Phloem is a complex permanent tissue. Along with xylem, it forms the vascular bundle. This conducting tissue is seen only in the higher evolved plants. Components of phloem are sieve tubes, companion cells, phloem parenchyma and phloem fibers. Phloem transports food from leaves to all other parts of the plants. The transport of substances in phloem takes place in both the directions. Fourth one, how is cork formed? Write the characteristics of cork. As plant grows older, the outer protective tissue undergoes certain changes. A strip of secondary meristem replaces the epidermis of stem. Cells on the outside are cut off from the epidermal layer. This forms several layers of thick cork or bark with no intercellular spaces. Characteristics of cork are A chemical called suberin is present in their walls. Suberin makes it impervious to gases and water. Cork is formed by secondary lateral meristem called cork cambium. The mature cork becomes dead and filled with tannin and resin. Now we'll continue with question number 5 that is give following information about areolar tissue. First is the location. Areolar tissue is present between the skin and muscles around nerves and blood cells and also in the bone marrow. Second is the structure. So the name of the fibers are reticular fibers and collagen fibers are embedded in the matrix. Name of the cells are fibroblast, plasma cells, macrophage and mast cells are the cells of areolar tissue. And the function is, the main function of areolar connective tissue is to support internal organs. They also help in the repair of the tissues. Sixth question, write short note on unstriated muscles. Unstriated muscles are also called smooth muscles as they are associated with all the vital organs located in the body. They are involuntary in nature and cannot act according to our will. The cells are long with pointed ends, unbranched and uninucleate. They do not have dark and light bands. Location of unstriated muscles are Wall of the elementary canal, ureter, trachea and bronchi and diaphragm. Now we will continue with section D. First question. Draw net label diagram of unit of nervous tissue and explain about it. So the first question is, uh, sorry, so you can see the figure and the answer is highly specialized cells for stimulation and transmission of stimulus form the nervous system, brain, spinal cord and all the nerves in the body are made up of nervous tissue. These specialized cells are called nerve, uh, neurons or nerve cells. Each neuron has cyton or cell body, single lung axon and many branched uh, dendri dendrites. Nerve impulse travels through nerve fibers. Many nerve fibers together bound by connective tissue form the nerves. Nerves are joined with muscles and thus form combination by which locomotion is possible in all the animals. Second question is explain the structure of voluntary muscles. A voluntary muscle is a bundle of numerous striated muscle fiber. Each fiber is long, unbranched and enclosed in a membrane called sarcoplasm. Just beneath the sarcolemma, in each fiber, many nuclei occur, thus these fibers are multinucleated. The sarcoplasm contains many myofibrils that are long, thin and unbranched. Striated muscle is a type of voluntary muscle. Each muscle fiber possesses alternately arranged dark bands and light bands. The muscle fibers are long and cylindrical as well as multinucleate. Being attached with the bones, they are called skeletal muscles. It is connected with the movement of limbs. The third question is, what is parenchyma? Write its uh, properties, type and function. 
Parenchyma is a type of simple permanent tissue. This tissue is formed of living cells. Their cell wall is thin and made up of cellulose. It is loosely packed with large intercellular spaces between them. There are two types of parenchyma. They are chlorenchyma and arenchyma. Chlorenchyma is parenchyma with chlorophyll. Arenchyma is parenchyma with large air cavities within. Parenchyma forms basic packing tissue. Functions of parenchyma are support, storage of food, nutrients and water, photosynthesis in case of chlorenchyma, giving buoyancy to the plants and help in floating in case of arenchyma. And here we come to the end of chapter number 6 that is tissues. I hope you have understood the complete chapter. If you have any doubts you can write in the comment section. I will surely try to answer all the questions. Thank you for watching my video and do subscribe my channel for more updates. Thank you.